Ninja Turtles fans, if you love these classic Ninja Turtles from the 1980s, you're gonna love today's review because we got a bunch of figures to unbox. Oh yeah, oh my favorite is Michelangelo. Ooh, pizza party, oh yeah. Yep, that's right, Zappy Steve. We've got Michelangelo and more to unbox today. Oh yeah, oh I love Ninja Turtles. <laughs> All right, kids, so as you know, on the Puppet Steve channel here, we just love the old classic Ninja Turtles. And I'm super excited because Reaction came up with a brand new Ninja Turtles line to honor the classic toy line from the 1980s with this line right here called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Reaction Line. Nice. If we look at the back of the package here, we see that there are eight figures in all to collect. And surprise, surprise, we just happen to have all eight of them here today open up on the Puppet Steve Show. So as you can see here, well, we've got all four of the good guys and all four of the bad guys. I'm not sure if this is all considered series one or what, but oh man, if they make more series, I'm down with that because these look fantastic. And before busting into these packages here, I should probably point out that these figures are not modeled after the cartoon characters from the cartoon show, but they're in fact modeled after the action figures that were released in the 1980s. So if we look at the original Leonardo here released in the 80s, well, we see that this figure is a total classic homage to the original. And I gotta say that they did a great job on this packaging here. I just love the artwork of Leonardo holding his swords there. Nice, and on the back, haha, <laughs> just like the old packaging of the 1980s, it has one of those bio cards where it says, Leonardo, weapons, birthplace, height, age, and weight. And that is just cool by me. But now I'm gonna bust into these packages, which I know a lot of collectors might say, hey, wait a minute, don't open that up. These could be priceless one day. Oh, too bad, I wanna play with these things. And I gotta say, at first glance, this is one awesome figure. Yep, he looks just like the original, but he's in a different pose that reaction is known for. The head moves, the arm moves. Yep, this is one solid looking figure, especially with that L on his belt there. And he also comes with accessories. Oh man, oh this is cool too because this is the same kind of plastic that the original accessories that the turtles in the 1980s were made out of. Same color and everything. Get this guy decked out with his weapons there and oh yeah, he is one sword master. We're gonna come at ya. Oh, now that is great. Cowabunga. Yep, you said it Leonardo. I'll just take this guy and place him in my back alley place it here. And yeah, that is awesome. That's a retro classic coming to life. Now we just need some of these other turtles to open. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Michelangelo because he's the party dude. And wow, I love the artwork on this package here. Let's see, there is his bio card, which looks nice. And now let's open this up here. And once outside the package, oh, he looks fantastic. Yep, he looks like a great homage to the original. He's got the orange bandana with the M on his belt buckle right there. There's his backside, and in fact, it kind of looks just like Leonardo, the body does anyway, except for that it's a dark green color. And that's something that they did in the original toy line, is they made the skin tones all different, which is a little bit different than the uh, cartoon, because in the cartoon, all their skin tones were the same. But when it came to the action figures, yep, they tried to make them a little bit different as possible, so you can tell these guys apart. Nice, so as for Michelangelo here, well, we've got his weapons, which are the nunchucks. I gotta say, these accessories, oh, they did a great job on these because it looks like they're made out of the same plastic as the originals, and the color is the same too. Not sure how they did that, but, ah, huh, great job. And once we deck out on Michelangelo with his ninchakus, oh, nice, he's ready for some fighting. Oh, but wait a minute, since we have two pizza accessories now, I guess we can even deck them out with some pizza power. All right, cool. What do you think of that, Michelangelo? Ha, oh, totally tubular, man. I'm a master of nunchucks and pizza. Yum, 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 Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Donatello next. I always liked him, he was the awesome geeky tech head. <laughs> I just love his card right there. The artwork is great. Turn this around, we see his bio card on the back. So yep, there's little Donnie coming at ya. Yeah, let's see, check out that cool figure of Donatello. Yep, just like the original, he's got that muddy dark green color for his skin tone. He's got the D on his plate right there, and then he's got the purple headband around his body there. But of course, his accessory is the staff. So let's see, we'll put that in his hands the best as we can. I was gonna put it across both his hands, but I guess his hands don't articulate, so he can do just that. Aw, oh, man, if I have one complete, it is that there's no articulation in the wrists. Everyone's putting Donatello into our place here. Aw, oh, yeah. Now that's one team up that's coming together. 
Now it looks like we're only missing one last turtle. And then of course is the Ninja Turtle of Raphael. Boy, does he look great. Just love that card art. That looks perfect. Turn this around and we see the bio on the back there. That's pretty spiffy. So let's see, let's open up this guy out of the package. And just like the original Raphael, his skin tone is bright green in color. So that is cool. Boy, they really nailed it. It's just like I remember. And he's got the red bandana all around his body there. And then we have his weapons right here, which is the Psy. And of course, once we deck him out, holy cow. Yep, they really nailed the aspect of this character nicely, complete with his size. And now that we have Raphael, yeah, our back alley is complete with all of our super cool Ninja Turtles. All right, dude. Oh man, this place that's awesome. Yep, you said it, Mikey, but uh, we have no one to fight. Yeah, I know. Oh man, we need someone to fight. Oh, hold your horses there, guys, because if it's villains you want, it's villains you will get because we have the four bad guys right here and the rest of this Ninja Turtles line. And we'll start with good old Shredder right here because, well, he's the main bad guy. Okay, so here we have the awesome Shred Head. And if we look at his card art right there, we see, oh man, does he look spectacular, complete with that big old sword and brooding appearance. Wow. If we turn this guy around, we see that, yep, he also has a bio card in the back. So let's go ahead and open this villain up and check out old Shred Head. Oh, this is fantastic. Ha, uh, this is a true throwback to the original action figure because the original Shredder looked exactly like this. And wow, as you can see, this figure looks just like that, only in a reaction pose. So yep, I just love the face. I love the little spikes all over his arms there. Then we got the cape on the back flowing down. That's pretty cool. And then we also have spikies on the legs. So boy, they did a great job on this Shredder. And then for the accessory, we get a sword to put in his hands that he can fight the turtles with. Right, Shredder? Oh, you said it. Now let's go get those turtles. Oh, but hold on there, Shredder, because you can't do that without your Foot Clan. Because, well, every Shredder needs a Foot Clan. And I gotta say, oh, the artwork on that blister pack looks great. Yep, looks just like uh, a really cool version of the Foot Clan. Turn this guy around, and we see his bio card on the back. And boy, I just can't wait to get this figure out of here. And now, I always hated the original Foot Soldier because they put this figure in a really weird pose. But it looks like with this figure right here, well, it fixes all that because we got a normal standard pose. If we zoom in on the head here, we see, yep, he's got that Foot Soldier imprint on his head there, so that's kind of cool. He's got those beady eyes. And yep, his arms look cool, his feet look cool. He's also got that cool weapon, which makes him one deadly foe for Shredder. All right, Foot Clan, come on, let's go get those turtles. All right, let's go. And with the addition of Shredder, who this back alley place it quickly becomes a brawl to end them all. And there could be only one victor, and that will be me, the Shredder. Yeah, I don't think so, Shredder. Looks like you're a little outnumbered there, four to two. Oh, don't worry there, Turtle, because I have backups coming. Time to unbox Bebop and Rocksteady Puppet Steve. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses there, Shredder. I'm getting to it. Okay, so it looks like we're down to our two last figures, which are the henchmen of good old Shredder, which is Bebop and Rocksteady. And we'll just open Bebop first, because, well, his card art looks great. Look at that, Warhog. <laughs> oh, it's just like I remember from the cartoon. And I should mention that this blister pack is twice in size as the other ones, because look at that. Yep, about twice as big. Turn this around and we see that his bio card is on the back too. So, oh man, I can't wait to open up this oversized figure. And oh, there he is, looking really cool. The good old Warhog that we used to hate. And just look at all the cool details they packed into this guy. He's got those horns in front of his face and the cool shades. Oh, we even got the uh, cool shoulder pads, which I think are turtle shells. And we got necklaces and cool shoes on his feet. Yep, so this is one awesome looking figure that you just have to have for your collection, especially if you deck him out with his accessory. Let's see, we got the cool sword and the drill gun. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. It takes me back to the past. But now, of course, we have to open up his good old comrade, good old Rocksteady. You just gotta love that card art there. It's pretty darn cool. Check out his bio right there. And we see that this is another oversized figure because this is one mutant that when he's coming at you, you better watch out, buddy. Because instead of a bull in a china shop, well, he's a rhino in a china shop. 
Aw oh, man, it's gonna cause all kinds of destruction with that big old nose of his. Got this pretty cool protrudes out of his face there. Pretty cool, he's got the cool hat. He's got the cool camo gear on. Yep, looks just like I remember from the cartoon show. And, oh man, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In one hand, we got the cool knife, and in the other hand, we got the cool gun that he had in the 1980s. Boy, they did a great job with this action figure line, especially when you put both these guys together. Oh, they look great. Oh, good old Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, I love it. And once we add them to our back alley brawl here, oh man, we've got one awesome looking diorama coming together for the Ninja Turtles action. And this looks like it's gonna be one awesome fight because we have the good guys over here and the bad guys over there. Cowabunga, dude. Yep, my thoughts exactly. All right, kids, well, there they are. Eight really awesome figures in this series one of the Reaction Ninja Turtle set. Now, I'm not sure where you can buy these other than eBay. I know they were available on the Reaction website for a while there, but I think they're sold out now. So, eh, just keep your eyes peeled, kids.